I want to put a bit of information out there. I'm not trying to persuade or dissuade people in any way. I just want people to have all of the information and the knowledge and the things that they should consider before they make that dive. So I'm going to try and go through that as efficiently as possible this video. Okay, so this probably isn't the video you want to hear. Uh, this is the video I think most people need to hear. I spend a lot of time uh, on social media, uh, in other people's streams, and I hear a lot of people who are chasing the dream. They're chasing, oh, I want to be a full-time streamer. I want to be a full-time content creator. And they work full-time jobs, and they're sort of building up with this premise that they want to get to a point where they quit their jobs and become a full-time streamer content creator. I mean, that's the dream, isn't it? That's what everyone wants to do. Well, I've done that personally. I had two other jobs and streamed on the side and my stream was getting good and good and good. It was doing really well and I uh, phased out my work and now I am a full-time Twitch streamer and content creator, have been for the past year. And I want to put a bit of information out there. I'm not trying to persuade or dissuade people in any way. I just want people to have all of the information and the knowledge and the things that they should consider before they make that dive. Okay, so first up, uh, disclosure. Uh, I stream full-time on twitch.tv and I post videos on YouTube now and then. I don't make any money from YouTube. Um, I don't really make any money from anywhere except for Twitch, which is an issue you know that's something which you should probably have trying to avoid having one um one river of in income you want to diversify your income get income from multiple places ideally uh, that way you're kind of proofed against any disasters or anything that might happen or affect your ability to earn as well as it's just it just makes more sense so i make enough money on twitch to pay for all my bills my rent my food, my shopping, everything that it costs me to live, the cost of living, I can pay for all that through Twitch. I'm in a blessed position where my cost of living is actually quite low compared to a lot of people. A lot of my American friends uh, and American streamers that I know, they have a cost of living sometimes four, five, six times as high as I do. And that's without having kids uh, and such. So something for everyone to uh, realize is obviously cost of living is very dependent on where you live, what your circumstances are. But this is from my experience. Uh, it's not, I'm not trying to teach you how to be successful. I'm just trying to give you the insight as if, if you're in the mindset where you're thinking, I've started making enough on Twitch uh, to pay all my bills and to, to be able to live off, should I do it? That's what this video is about. So full disclosure, uh, I do have a low cost of living, uh, but I've still gone through quitting my job uh, my jobs to be able to full-time Twitch stream and content create. So I don't want to ramble too much. I want to kind of give you the points. I may do, I'm probably going to do some videos, short videos, explaining and expanding on each of the points, which I'll pop up um, or in the description below for you guys to watch. Uh, first of all, thank you for watching the video. My name is Jord of the North. I am a Twitch streamer. You can find me on twitch.tv forward slash Jord of the North, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and Saturdays. The schedule is on Twitch uh, for you to be able to see. If you have any questions about anything in the video today or just anything in general, don't be afraid to ask me and I should be able to help you out. So first up, we have a lot of things to talk about today. The, the way I'm going to go about it is kind of linear and sort of explain things as they come up so you work full-time you can pay all your bills you're making however much it costs you to live in a job maybe even more you're streaming on the side as a hobby and you're making some good money you're like you're getting to the point where you're thinking damn like i'm making almost as much as i make in my other job and you start thinking, well, I hate my other job. It's yeah, my boss is an ass. I hate it. Uh, it's make I'm so tired and burnt out. I wish I could quit and just be a full time streamer. I mean, who doesn't want that dream? So, this is this is the place where you're at. 
you're thinking i want to quit my job first of all first of all the a really important thing to consider which i didn't consider was the second you quit your job your income has now halved so on the obviously before you streamed you were earning as much as you would be but as your stream got better you started earning more money and you know you maybe invested a lot of that into the stream into the setup into the lighting into the microphone into the effects the graphics all that thing you've invested a lot of money into that um, so it hasn't necessarily increased your lifestyle too much, but it probably has. Because I know mine did. When I when I was working full-time and I was streaming full-time, I was going on holidays. I was going out for nice days out, going for meals. We'd be, you know, splashing out, getting a bit of this, getting a bit of that. And that's just because that's how the world works, unfortunately. Uh, so realizing that once you do quit your job, your income is halved again. The effect that has on you is very specific to each person so if you uh, don't mind i uh, you it's not really an issue for you that's fine uh, i have a partner i have a wife and obviously that has to be okay with them as well because it's not just you who's losing that extra money it's your entire family uh, to some extent so you have to be aware that there'll be lifestyle changes all around because you don't have that extra money anymore you don't have the extra however much was coming in and that's something which people sometimes don't consider for me it was an easy decision i don't really i'm not a materialistic person i don't want nice things i just want to be happy i want to have free time i want to have uh, a nice schedule that that matches my lifestyle so it was an easy decision for me to make but each person's different and you have to consider your family uh, and all the situations included within that so Let's say you decide you don't mind dropping all that money. That, that extra money that you've been making by having two two things, you, your happiness is more important. You make the choice, you quit your job. This is where it gets kind of hard because everything you felt as, a, as somebody who streamed full time, but uh, it wasn't their only form of income... Uh, so many things change and so many things amplify at this point. You now have so much more pressure. Pressure, pressure and stress and anxiety and so many emotions flying out from you because what was a hobby and came easily and it was just it just was fruitful you put a lot of hard work into it and grew it up and it was doing well for you now it is everything it bec it stops becoming something which is just decent and it becomes something you rely on relying on something changes it changes the beast entirely so this was a really big shift for me it was massive to to love and enjoy something and put so much into it and then all of a sudden there is a constant pressure there is a, an anxiety am i going to earn enough money to pay my rent am i going to lose my house am i not going to be able to hit, pay my bills each person needs to decide how to overcome this i just uh, was trying to be future proof so i earned enough to pay all my bills for like 12 months before i quit my jobs uh, each person's different you can do what you want to do but there's still that pressure even today after being after being a full-time content creator and twitch streamer i still have worries and anxieties that it, that all of it could go away one day all it takes is twitch to ban me all it takes is uh everybody to decide that their twitch is a terrible platform and everyone to cancel twitch and stop going on there and supporting all it takes is for a good f amount of people who uh do massive amounts of support for all of them to just decide actually we prefer somebody else better there's a constant anxiety and stress and pressure when it comes to doing full-time twitch stream and content creation because it's not something that you can afford to lose anymore it it's just it's just not another thing to consider is you can't really experiment anymore you have to stick with what you're doing the second you become reliant on that form of income you can't try new things really you can't sway you can't you know alter what you're doing because all it takes is one wrong move and you collapse and all that money that you were making could just disappear i know streamers who were full-time 
Dead by Daylight streamers got purely burnt out and decided they don't want to play Dead by Daylight and they changed touch, tried a different game. And the hit they took financially was astronomical. And that is something really important to consider because when it's a hobby, when Twitch is a hobby and you just enjoy making the money, that's the time when you should be experimenting and finding what works for you. You know, trying all these different things because at the end of the day, you don't need that money. It's obviously it's brilliant. It's great to have the support and the money. However, you don't need it. So you can risk, take risks. You can fluctuate. You can't fluctuate when, it's, when you're reliant on that money to pay your rent and keep a roof over your head. Quick fire round, a few really quick things. You will have probably very little extra money before you quit your job you had two forms of income coming in uh and you probably went on nice days out you went on holidays you bought nice things uh you treated treated yourself to a nice meal uh money becomes a lot more uh of a focus and you have to really consider what you're spending your money on uh, and you don't have as much extra money and when you do have extra money because you've had a really good month then comes the stress of deciding what you're spending that money on. Because, for example, the example I gave earlier, a lot of uh, streamers, they reinvest that money into their content, into their equipment. You can't do that anymore because that money is going straight to your bills. So you have an extra, you have some extra money and you're thinking, I haven't invested and this is falling apart. This is breaking. I need to upgrade this. Uh, you need to be deciding, is that the best use of this money right now? At the same time, if you have family and they have, they're, they're saying, we haven't been on a day out for six months. And you have this extra money. Are you deciding, are you going to get a new gaming chair? Or are you going to take your family out for a day? Because you haven't took them out for six months because you decided to be a full-time content creator. These are things you need to really be ready to start questioning and asking yourself what you're doing uh, because they come up and they come up fast and hard and it's often and you you need to you need to decide how you're going to react and what's going to happen uh, so you can handle it the best way you can another quick point you are not paying into a pension you don't have a 401k you don't have anything waiting for you when you're too old to stream uh, or so on and so forth. Obviously, I'm in the belief that I'm going to be streaming. As long as there's a streaming platform, I'm going to be streaming till I'm grey and old and I'm a, you know, 70-year-old man still streaming because I'm down. I'm down for it. However, realistically, is that going to happen? We don't know. We don't know what platforms happen or how things change. If a competitor comes in and everyone's income gets halved because now there's two people competing against each other, uh, you just don't know. So considering what happens after or what happens if you are no longer able to stream. You're not paying into a pension. You're not paying into any any money. Uh, you may be trying to save up some money, but you, obviously, are you saving up money? Are you spending it on upgrading your stream? Are you spending it on taking your family for days out? What are you doing with this money? You need to be very cautious of these obstacles that come up. Are you? Because ideally, you'd be saving up for a mortgage. You would get a house. You would have you know that you know the investments and things going on, but. You don't always know how much money you're going to be getting. Uh, and the money side is 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 the cruel side of it, you know? So deciding what you're going to do and what things you're going to put in place for longevity for you as a person on the platform uh, and diversifying your income so it's not just reliant on one, uh, one stream of revenue. Burnout, creativity, procrastination. These are just another few of the really big issues that will come up as you're a full-time streamer content creator the pressure is more on yourself than it was when you were a hob when it was a hobby because you're thinking this is i need this to work you're putting so much money so many more hours in you're putting time in you're trying to be creative innovative you're trying to be the next thing you're trying to be ahead of the, the other people that's a lot of pressure to put on yourself and burnout can and will come if you don't uh figure out your timing right and your scheduling and what time you have for yourself and your family and what time you have for streaming. These are things you need to be considering uh, because that's like the that's the end game there. If you, if you burn out and you can't do this anymore, if you make yourself sick and ill, then you're in trouble. 
speaking of being sick and being ill, you don't have sick days. You don't get paid sick. You don't, like, if you're sick, you're losing money if you're not streaming or creating content. You can't afford to have that. You can't afford to have holidays. Uh, taking a week off to go somewhere, unless you're doing very well and you can afford to not stream for a week and make that money, you're going to be struggling to actually take holidays and take things away. And you need to think about this before you quit your job because... If you don't, you're going to be in this position. Your, your wife's going to be kicking your door down, asking you to go on holiday and take a week off, spend some more time. And you just can't do it because you're, you're, you're treading water. You're walking the breadline of streaming and content creation. Procrastination uh, is a real big issue. It's my probably one of my main issues is procrastinating, sitting and just, you know, not even doing anything that I enjoy. But th thinking about the things I should be doing to be creative and for the stream and for the content and instead just doing something very fruitless that I barely enjoy and it's actually just a waste of time and you know that's an issue you need to you need to really plan your time of what you're going to do for yourself and what you're going to do for your stream try not to procrastinate too much guys oh, it's such a horrible thing and last but not least, uh, when it comes to streaming and content creation, something to always consider is to not lose yourself. It's so easy to lose yourself because of all of these things that I've just explained. Uh, they can all build up on you. You might decide to rebrand. You might decide that it's too much. You might decide to get a job. Uh, it's it's. There's a lot of things that can come up that can really affect you. Uh, and, and change your perspective on things, change your perception of things, and really just change who you are as a person and who, as a streamer as well. Uh, try to stay true to who you are more than anything. Don't lose yourself uh, and become just another person who's thirsty for money. Obviously, money is what is the driving factor of this video. This video doesn't come around without money, and I don't want to... Uh, deceive anyone in any way shape or form this video is about money it's about when you make enough money and you want to be a full-time what do you do so obviously being focused as a businessman and as a business person and what you want to do financially is really important however don't lose yourself and just get grabby because being grabby i've seen i have i've come up with a lot of people on twitch and i've seen people and they went full time and then they got grabby and being grabby is a big turn off guys don't be grabby stay true to yourself trust in the process and work hard okay there is a way to do this there's a way to succeed at doing this uh and i will post another video after this uh explaining a few of my suggestions for that uh, this is part one of a series of things that I'm just trying to be really brutally honest with people. Uh, as somebody who's been full-time streamer for over a year, I've been through a lot of ups and downs and a lot of different scenarios. Uh, so hopefully some people can glean a little bit of knowledge from what I'm saying and use that in their own situations to do better than I did and come out shiny. My name is Jordan Off. If you have any questions, guys, please put them in the comments. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Good luck on your journeys because you need it and we all need it. So give wish me luck as well. And I will see you all next time for the next video.